you know that SQ task that you have to run manually in your database every month, every day, or every hour. Well, you don't really need to do it manually. In fact, the correct way is not to do it manually because that's what the database scheduler is for. All you have to do is create an object of the type job, pass the details and frequency that you want it to run, and voila, you don't have to worry about it anymore. This way is easier to maintain, you reduce the risk of human error, and you keep the code in the system so everyone can see what's being executed instead of keeping it in your computer. Let's see how simple it is. Open a begin and end block. Inside the block, you use the scheduler tool and call the method create job. As a parameter, you pass the name that you want to give to the job, what type of job it is, in our case is a store procedure, the job action, it's simply the name of the procedure that will be executed, a start and end dates. In our case, the end date is no, because we don't want it to stop ever. A repeat interval is stating the frequency that the job will run. Set it as enable, auto drop false, and write a nice comment so other people will see it in the future and understand what the job is doing. If you want to disable the job but keep it, just use the scheduler tool again, but call the method disable, passing the name of the job as a parameter. If you want to stop the job and delete it forever, call the method drop job. And that's all for today, till next time.